All right, let's get right into this. A conversation I had with Josh Sharp from the Illinois Fuel and Retail Association about additional language they're set to add to the state-mandated fuel pump sticker, announcing a delay in the two-cent-a-gallon gas tax increase. But it's all up to the courts at this point, and a little bit of background on where we're at in that process. Here's Josh Sharp. A couple of weeks ago, uh, the Attorney General's office filed a, a motion in Sangamon County Circuit Court to have this case moved to federal court. Um, after some discussion with our legal counsel, we feel uh, just as good about our arguments in federal court as we did in Sangamon County, and uh, we tend to proceed with our litigation there. And we hope that uh, the federal judge ultimately sides with us and uh, holds that these signs are uh, an unconstitutional infringement on my members' uh, right to speak or, or not to speak about tax policy in the state of Illinois. Um, if we have to go forward, however, and post signs, uh, the association will be providing signs to our members, which I, I believe you've seen a copy of. We do have a copy of that, and uh, if you're watching along online, uh, you'll be able to see a, a, a copy of that, and in particular, what's behind the sign. Here's Josh Sharp. We just want to make sure that the Illinois motorists are, are, are really fully aware of what's going on with the tax picture in the state of Illinois, and that there is no tax cut coming on July 1. I think a lot of people think they're going to look to those signs posted at gas stations and see lower prices July 1 uh, as a result of this legislation. And and that's just not the case. Um, Unfortunately, uh, several Illinois politicians have sort of made the argument that delaying a tax increase is somehow tantamount to a tax cut. And that's just not the case. The gasoline tax in the state of Illinois is staying exactly the same on July 1st as it was the year before. And now they're going to raise it twice in 2023. They're just putting off that tax increase until after an election. So the sign, they say, will fit the state law and the size requirement, I think, is like four by eight and it's got to have bold text and whatnot. Uh, So uh, Josh Sharp laying out that indeed that's going to happen if indeed the courts say that uh, they they have to do this. Here's Josh Sharp. The one that was just just shared is the sign. We feel that it meets the statutory requirements. And to us, that's the only sign that needs to be displayed on the pumps. So uh, more about this particular signage and the language behind the sign that they want to put out there. And it includes uh, certain verbiage in bold font, which that sign also does include in bold. And I forget exactly what it says, but it essentially states that Illinois has delayed uh, the tax, I believe, an inflation adjustment to gas prices until January 1st, 2023. And uh, we're putting that on the sign just as we're required to by law. But there's kind of like uh, you guys add more to the sticker. Yes, absolutely. We give that we give that statement some context, which I think is important. And that is that, uh, you know, politicians have raised gas taxes three times since 2019. They doubled the state's motor fuel tax in 2019. Illinois now has the second highest gas taxes in the nation. Uh, we could move to number one, depending on how high gas prices go, because Illinois charges a sales tax on gasoline. Uh, just for your listeners, uh, just so they're aware, that sales tax, when gas gets around $5 per gallon, is, is a little more than $0.30. Cents. So you can imagine uh, they're wanting to ensure that uh, people know the truth, they say, about the uh, the gas tax, how it's not going to be a gas tax cut. Uh, and actually, lawmakers have increased the gas tax, uh, doubling it. Uh, but uh, it also notes on the sign, and you can see it there, that they are going to be charged $500 a day if they don't post this sign. Yeah, and, and we're posting this, obviously, so we don't get hit with, with – it's not only a fine but a criminal penalty – for not posting that sign, and that fine is $500 per day per pump. So let's say you had you know eight pumps at your location and you didn't have signs on them, that could be a $4,000 per day fine. So Josh Sharp with the Illinois Fuel and Retail Association saying they just want their members to be equipped with being able to tell people the truth while complying with state law. It's exactly right. We're, we're letting them know that. We're doing this because the state of Illinois has forced us into this position. And I believe there's also a QR code on those signs, which I would encourage motorists to use while they're waiting at the gas pump to uh, see how much they're paying in Illinois taxes on on that gallon of fuel. So uh, the hearing in the case, which is now in federal court, is Friday. The requirement begins July 1st, so the clock is ticking on this. Um, We'll definitely keep you posted on what happens in court Friday.
uh, with the uh, whether or not the court's going to say no, uh, these gas stations are not required to do this because that violates their First Amendment right. But interesting with free speech, they have every right to post these signs themselves, even if they don't want to, announcing that indeed Illinois politicians have more than doubled the gas tax since 2019. Illinois has the highest gas tax in the Midwest, second highest in the nation, and uh, it's uh, going to be interesting to see how this plays out. All right, much more coming up here.